Hey everybody, it's Ann Kaplan from Mom Me, your mama resource from conception to college. Wherever you are on your momming journey, we are here for you. And this week, the special week between Christmas and New Year's, we are talking about holiday madness all week long. And what I want to do today, it's Thursday, my tips and tricks day. I want to talk to you guys about some tips on minimizing holiday madness the chaos and pandemonium we feel this time of year um, in your home with your family. So I'm going to tell you four little tips that I um, use for myself and with my clients that I think are going to be really helpful, not just at holiday time, but truthfully all the time. Because life, especially when you have family dynamics and stuff like that, or it's a special important time of year, whether it's Christmas or holidays or just could be any time of year, all of a sudden these dynamics come up doesn't really matter about the holidays, right? So the first tip I want to talk to you about is boundaries. Boundaries has become such a hot button, like buzzword that I actually hate using it anymore. And one of the biggest reasons why I hate using it is because I see posts all the time on social media about boundaries in the context of like set boundaries. People can't treat you this way. People can't do this. This is what, this is what other people can do or whatever. And they're basically using the word boundaries to talk about being in control of the way that the world interacts with them. Guys, boundaries are very, very, very important, especially as a parent, especially with children, especially when we're trying to do, kind of protect the sanctity of our family that we're growing. But boundaries have nothing to do with other people. So if you're my client, you've probably already heard me give you this speech at least once. Boundaries are not about other people. They're about yourself. Your boundary cannot be about what somebody else is going to do or not do or what they're allowed to do or permitted to do. That's not setting a boundary. That's just trying to control other people, which is out absolutely impossible. Setting a boundary is really deciding for yourself what you want to happen, what you will do if a, your kind of invisible line in the sand gets, gets crossed and all of that stuff. It's not necessarily even something, depending on the circumstance, that you even need to tell anybody else because your boundary is for you emotionally. And um, obviously, if you're my client, you'd be sitting down and talking about your individual circumstance and how to set boundaries and what your boundaries might be and what you would do if your boundaries get crossed and all that stuff, which is impossible to go into in a video because talking to more than one person right now, but boundaries are huge when it comes to the holidays. Huge, huge, huge. Because there's so many people that want a piece of us this time of year, and there's so many things that we could be committing to doing. Whether you want to talk about your family or your partner's family or whatever and what they want from you, or you could just be talking about all of the possible things that could be on your calendar. Parties, gift giving, spending money. Like there's so many ways that boundaries come into play. Whether you want to talk about budget, how you're going to interact with your family, how many gifts you want to buy your kid, like all of those things, there are limits. And it's really important for you to figure out what those limits are for yourself. Not in reaction to people around you, but because you're super aligned with who you are and who you want to be as a mom and what you believe and the values that you're trying to pass on and you create the boundaries and limits that you want to set for yourself and your family from that place of real connection and confidence with yourself as a mother. Which brings me to the second tip that I want to give you which is relax. I wonder how many clients I've said this to this week. Relax the stranglehold that you have on organizing and managing every single thing around you. It's really, really hard to do that sometimes, especially around the holidays, but let's face it, like sometimes the pandemonium and chaos of this time of year is almost unavoidable. It's really, really hard to relax the stranglehold when you feel like everything you're doing in life is about protecting yourself from this onslaught and attack from the world around you. And I definitely have been there big time. So oftentimes when I'm working with clients who are having a really, really hard time just relaxing and kind of surrendering and letting things be a little bit out of control, we talk a lot about why that is. And for almost every single one of them, we dig deep down, we find that it's because they're feeling a little bit insecure or um, judged or whatever about themselves as parents. And their kind of need to control is almost like this way that they're, they're using, a defense way that they're using to protect themselves and prove to themselves that they are doing a great job on all that stuff. So once again, it's much, much easier to set boundaries and to relax that stranglehold when you're really feeling aligned and connected with yourself as a mom and who you are and what your values are and what you're all about and what your family is about and all that stuff. So I really wanna encourage you that if you're feeling this need to like ratchet down control and stuff or if conversely you're just feeling totally out of control right now, 
ask yourself, like, how aligned and centered do you feel with who you are? And are you walking your talk right now? And most of the time, the answer to that question is no. And when that answer is no, it becomes so hard to just surrender and enjoy and go with the flow. It comes becomes so, so hard to set boundaries that are about actually yourself and not about the people around you. So the first step in all of this stuff is just really getting super clear on who we are as parents before we start putting ourselves in this circumstance of having to navigate all this stuff around us, okay? Tip number three I wanna talk to you about, kind of goes hand in hand with that boundary thing, which is give up people pleasing. Tip number three, give up people pleasing. You're not gonna be able to do it. It's not your job to please everybody. It's actually not possible for you to please everybody. If other people are unhappy or miserable, that's coming from them, not from you. I promise you, you are not the cause of people's unhappiness ever, ever. So if you are feeling this need to please everyone around you and tie yourself in knots and go through these crazy machinations so that everybody's happy, Release that obligation from yourself, you guys. That's not your job, and then you're, you're, you will always fail. I wish, I wish I had all the time in the world to tell you about some of the crazy stuff that Mike and I tried to do when we first got married and had our first kid to try to keep all of the grandparents happy. It never worked. All we did was spend hours and hours and hours on the phone listening to everybody talk about what a disappointment we were. <laughs> so we don't do that anymore. We're not about people pleasing. We're about figuring out what works for our family and protecting the sanctity of our home and our family above all else. And sometimes people get upset and that's not my problem. <laughs> so give up people pleasing. And the last thing I want is to give yourself permission. This is your last tip here. Give yourself permission to create your own traditions that work for you. Once again, Get yourself in that, put your kind of alignment hat on. Get yourself aligned with who you are, what your family is all about, what your values are, all of those things, and then decide, well, what traditions make sense and feel really good and awesome and warm and nurturing for us and per create those traditions. You don't, once again, have to tie yourself in knots to go through this Herculean effort to perpetuate traditions that, that you don't like, that are really hard for you, that don't fit with your family or any of that stuff. So having that alignment with like, this is what we're about, what we need for our family, what I want to do with my family, what makes sense for us, what feels really good for us and feels like something that we can be proud of and is instilling the values and messages that we really believe in, that's the place you need to get to. And then all these little tips will be so much easier to follow. Setting boundaries, relaxing this, that stranglehold that we all have sometimes on control, giving up people pleasing, all the people around us, and creating our own traditions. Those things can be, feel really, really hard and just like, oh, well, that's really easy for Anne to say, whatever. If those things feel really, really hard to you and impossible, I really encourage you to take a step back and ask yourself, like, how connected are you right now with your own internal compass about who you are and what your family is all about because when you're feeling really connected with that these things become so much easier to do it's when we're falsely falling into things that really we don't believe and that don't feel really good to us and aren't unique and authentic to who we are that all of a sudden it becomes so impossible and we just feel like we're totally at sea in a land of chaos and pandemonium and the world around us is just completely victimizing us and we're helpless to the whims of the uh, <laughs> the winds buffeting us around during the holidays. So I hope that you guys are having an amazing holiday. New Year's is coming up. Happy, happy, happy New Year. Getting ready for 2019. Got some really big, exciting plans for the year to come that I'm really enjoying not dealing with right now, but I'm also really looking forward to. And I hope you guys feel the same way. Hope you had an amazing week, and I'll talk to you again soon.